welcome back to my channel. Hi guys. In today's video, we are going to be trying someone else's skincare routine. I've never really done that before and I think it'll be really fun. So I was cruising on YouTube looking at other people's skincare routines and I stumbled across a video of Kourtney Kardashian sharing her routine with Harper's Bazaar. If I'm being totally honest, out of all of the Kardashians, I would trust Kourtney's recommendations the most. And the reason I say that is at least from what I know from watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians, you know, Kourtney's always been like really particular about what she eats and what her kids eat. And I'm sure that she is also particular about her skincare routine, or at least I think so. Um, but I have all the products here. We'll have to dive in and find out about that. But anyway, let's get started. So I actually did not watch the video, but I did order all the products in the description box on that video. Kyle was like, Emily, did you seriously just order all of the skincare? I was like, it's for YouTube. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> anyway, first things first, let's watch the video together. My skincare routine is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven step process. Okay, wait, actually it's an eight step process. Does anyone else feel like eight steps is a lot? I wanna know, comment below, how many steps do you guys actually do in your skincare routine? For me, it's always like, three, maybe four. I use this as basically as a headband instead of a headband if I don't want to wash my hair. Okay, so she's wearing this this um, this um turban like in her hair and she says she uses it as a headband so I'm gonna do the same. I'll be shocked if my hair fits in this thing. They never do. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, can I figure this out? It's pretty cool. Actually, I like this. My second step is I use this micellar cleansing water. I think there's a lot of different brands out there, so I've tried a bunch and they're all the same. I'm just gonna have to use these cotton buds. I don't have any cotton pads. After a long day of working, filming, um, you know, running around all day, it's so nice to just get my makeup off. It's actually kind of fun because I actually never ever use micellar water. This is not really how I typically take off my makeup. I usually just um, wash my face with like a great cleanser. Okay, I think my makeup is off. Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser, which has recently become my favorite face cleanser. We did it as a push pick of the week. Okay, so she is now using this Peach and Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. Now let's try it. She says it's her favorite cleanser. Okay, so clearly she does the double cleanse method. So that's interesting. I usually only do one. Let's see how this cleanser is. Okay, so, oh, it's like a gel consistency. Has a little bit of a fragrance slash scent to it. Let's see how it feels. So I'm using it, as you can see, it's definitely kind of like bubbling up a little bit. That's not quite a bit of a scent slash fragrance, not my favorite thing, but that's okay. Anyway, let's rinse. Okay, my skin feels pretty good after that. It doesn't feel like overly stripped or dry, which is great. So my next step is a face mask. I have to say, I think she's like over 40. I'm not sure. She looks so good, I do have to say. Okay, we're starting it. And I love to do, if I have time, I will alternate three different face masks, even in one night. This is the Caudalie. Wait, what? Did she just say she alternates three face masks in one night? Hold up. And I love to do, if I have time, I will alternate three different face masks, even in one night. That's crazy. Wait, am I like, I, I like, is my listening comprehension not good? Did she say she uses three masks sometimes in one night? Whoa. This is the Caudalie Instant Detox Mask. This is one of my favorites. While I have this mask on, I'm not just gonna sit here and watch the mask dry. So while I'm doing my entire skin routine, I sip on our Poosh and Vital Proteins Pink Moon Milk. Okay, I have the Pink Moon Milk. Amazing, okay. Anyway, let me go make some of this and drink some, hold on. This does have quite a bit of fragrance to it. It's kind of one of those tightening feeling masks. Like I feel it tightening on my face. I love to put on a lip balm and I love this Barbra Sturm lip balm. It's very smooth. It's definitely one of my favorites. So this step I probably do about three times a week. Okay, let's do the lip balm together. This is what it looks like. That does feel nice. I'm like, mmm, mmm. 
yeah, that feels really, really nice. And Poosh Hyaluronic Halo with CBD. So it's hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, and CBD. Okay, so this is hyaluronic acid, CBD, and vitamin C. That's a lot packed into one product. It's Aura X Poosh. I never use CBD products, if I'm being totally honest. She says she does this three times a week. And it's a serum. Okay, so yeah. That feels good. It feels really nice and hydrating and it has absolutely no smell that I can detect with my little nose. Now she's moving on to the derma roller. I have never used one of these devices. It's the Aura Poosh derma roller. Oh, it hurts. Ow. Okay, this kind of hurts. There are little tiny, tiny needles in there, but she looks like she's going to town. Builds collagen. It's really helped with my skin's texture and tone and it really gets the product into your skin so it just takes guys this hurts comment below if you do this and if i'm doing this right oh my god then i take the serum one more time and then it really goes in there since I have started using Hyaluronic Serum, which is our Poosh and Aura Serum, I often don't have to use moisturizer, but if I feel like my skin is dry, then I love this Dr. Barbara Sturm Face Cream Light. So here we are gonna try this face cream. Dr. Robert Sturm's products I feel like are always like really, really luxurious and this definitely is like a very heavy glass jar. This looks very whippy and creamy and great. In terms of how my skin is feeling right now, it feels pretty good. I'm not sure about that derma roller situation, but aside from that, it's feeling pretty good. So let's put this moisturizer on. Okay. It's done, she's done, and I'm just finishing the moisturizer. My skin is stinging, I don't know why. I think it's because of the derma roller making tiny punctures like it was supposed to, I don't know. All right, and then she took her, her thing off. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna try these products for a few more days, and I will get back to you guys and let you know how it was going and which products I like. See you soon. Okay guys, I literally just finished filming that video like 30 seconds ago. My skin feels kind of dry. I'm not even gonna lie, it does feel dry. I think it's the mask maybe, I'm just like not used to something like that. I like when my skin feels like super hydrated, I'm like super hydrated and super dewy, but obviously I'll try for a few more days and let's see. Hello everyone, welcome. Um, this is the last day that I'm going to be trying Kourtney Kardashian's skincare routine and I'm going to run through with you what I thought about some of these products, if I would repurchase them, what were my favorites, what I would skip. So let's get started. I haven't done the routine or put any products on my face yet. I actually just woke up um, and I have the little turban thing on right here. I actually have like a hair oil in my hair right now and I tied it up in this like turban, which actually is really nice. Like it's like out of my face. You know when you do like a hair mask because my skin's like all everywhere. It's like neatly tucked away. So because it's the day, I'm just gonna do the serum and the lip balm and the moisturizer. Um, so let me just do that really quick. I'm doing like Courtney and putting the rest of it on my hands and some lip balm. I already washed my face, by the way, with the cleanser. Okay, so let's review. Let's talk about what some of my favorite products were from Courtney Kardashian's skincare routine or evening skincare routine. Also, by the way, um, I just did the math and realized this is a $550 evening <laughs> routine. Um, I, yeah, I spent a lot of money on this video. I didn't realize that I was just really excited to do it. Um, but I'll definitely use these products or give them to like my mom or my sister or anyone if I don't like them or donate them, which I have done in the past. Anyway, so I'll do least favorite to favorite. My least favorite thing was the derma roller. And I don't think that's anything against this specific derma roller. I think I have just never used this tool. I should have done more research. If you decide to buy this tool or get one like it, I would do your research. I think that if I ever wanted to do something like this again, and I've read about the benefits in the past of doing this and seen a lot of other people do it, I probably would just have a professional do it, to be honest. Like, 
I just feel safer and more comfortable like having someone else do that. So yeah, this is kind of like not for me. Um, the next product that was kind of like my least favorite was the Claudalie Instant Detox Mask. So again, this might have been something that I wasn't educated on enough because I posted on my Instagram that I was doing like using this and a bunch of people messaged me and they were like, oh, it's such a great mask, but only use it like in your T-zone or where you're oily. And I think it's winter and my skin is already super dry. So this just made it like, after I did her routine, like my skin was like so, so dry and I haven't touched this again since. Like I think maybe this is better more in the summer when maybe I'm like breaking out or anything like that or maybe my skin doesn't need like a detox, I don't know. But I wasn't like a huge fan of that. Next up, I would say my next product that I wasn't like dying over was actually this Dr. Barbara Sturm face cream light. What's strange about this is I've actually used a lot of Dr. Barbara Sturm's products and I've actually really, really liked them. They are extremely expensive. Um, I've definitely used one of her other moisturizers in a past video. It wasn't this one though, and I really, really liked it unless they changed the formula, I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of this given the price, um, and it did not make my skin feel super hydrated. I also experienced a little bit of pilling. So that's how I feel about that one. Um, now let's start getting into the ones that I liked. So I will say I did like the Aura Poosh serum. I think it felt really good and it felt really nice and hydrating. But anyway, I did like this and there's no scent or fragrance, which I really, really liked. It felt hydrating um, and my skin felt good when I put it on. So I liked this. Next up, I also really liked the turban. So I actually haven't used one of these in so long, um, but I have been reaching for it. And you know, that's always like kind of like my telling sign when I like something, like I'm kind of like subconsciously reaching for it or looking for it without like being like, oh, I need to try that or do that. Um, I actually have my hair like in um, some hair oil right now and I tied it up with the turban and I really, really like that. Also, I just realized I'm finishing this video in the exact same sweatsuit that I started it in. Please don't judge me. <laughs> It's just really cozy. I mean, look at it. Um, anyway, so yeah, I freaking love this turban. I also did like the cleanser. The only thing I did not like about this cleanser, it did have like a little bit of scent, fragrance to it. I don't really like having fragrance in any of my products. Um, but what I liked about it was, I mean, this is called Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. It was calming and it did not strip or like make my skin feel dry or anything like that. So I did like that. Um, also with the Meissner water, I mean, it's obvious this is only a $7 bottle. I never use Meissner water. I don't love like the texture or consistency in my face so much, but it did remove my eye makeup. So I think that's an affordable option. if like you're looking for something that does that but you know i've said this in previous videos i kind of am like a one-step girl i wish there was just like a cleanser that removed everything because that's kind of how i do my thing at night you know i liked the dr barbara lip balm this is a 55 dollars lip balm though that's a lot i just love like a lip butter or like a lip mask if you're looking for a version like this there's actually one that i absolutely love by clavu i'll link that below i think that's a korean beauty brand but that's been my go-to lip mask for forever. But this does feel nice on the lips. I just generally really like a lip butter like this. And I also loved the French Girl Lip Polish. I love a good lip scrub, um, especially in the winter. My lips are so, so dry. And I love the packaging. Like it does feel like very like French girl to me. I love anything French. But yeah, I really, really loved this. I was surprised. I really like this. Reason why I like this, so it tastes really good. It's the Pink Moon Milk Collagen Latte. It's when you mix it with like a warm almond milk or an oat milk or whatever you like, it is almost like a strawberry smoothie. So I have to say like, I kind of liked it and very much enjoyed it in the evening. If you have a sweet tooth like me, but I'm trying, you know, 2021, I'm trying not to be like unhealthy. This was like a really nice like nightcap, something a little bit sweet, like calming, soothing, like it felt frothy and warm. I really, really liked it. Plus you're getting in your bone broth collagen, which is of course good for you, has some melatonin in it, helps with skin, joint, digestive support. Love it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below what other videos you would like to see like this. I really enjoyed, you know, trying Courtney's routine and kind of stepping into her shoes or at least her skincare routine. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.